Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We're in an assisted living facility, and if you look around, it's like this disgusting, molded, hoarded, like, mind blown type of thing. I've never seen something like this. Never. That's soaking wet. Whoa, 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 get a garbage bag, whoa. Doing a mold job today, and I got my new set of eyes. Super excited! Now y'all can see my baby blues magnified. Run, run, run! <laughs> I have to pee, so I hope there's no mold on the toilet. <laughs> so if you look over here, Ooh. oh, that's nothing. Look in the bathroom. Pictures didn't do this job justice. Oh my, oh my god. I've never seen something like this. When it's below and visual like this, it's usually 10 times worse inside the wall. So this is a really huge mold job. When you can't see the mold out, outside, is because inside, there's full of mold. So maybe it's the whole bathroom with mold. I've never seen something like this. Never. House looks like a whole job. But it's a mold. We have to move all this stuff back there because we don't we don't wanna um, contaminate the stuff with mold. So we have double job. This is so nasty. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> uh, we're here in Tampa, Florida. Yeah, you know, we're home. We're in an assisted living facility, and if you look around, it's like this disgusting, molded, hoarded, like, <laughs> mind blown type of thing. They're crazy. This is definitely a two dayer. Just because the extent of damage in the kitchen, that's when you pan to the kitchen. And then the extent in the bathroom, that's when you pan to the bathroom. That's everything. So I'm really not happy about getting my glasses done because now I can see the mess. So I'm probably gonna take them off throughout the day so that way I don't have to worry about looking at anything. Ugh, how do people live like this? But so we actually have to, we have to make sure that the door stays closed at all times because every time we open the door, roaches, la cucarachas, crawl out everywhere. I had kind of a really fucked up childhood and my biological mother's house was just like this with the roaches and it just brings back so much shit like I used to have to put the white powdery boric acid around my bedroom around the walls and be able to have to try to go to sleep because they were crawling everywhere like it's just kind of mind blowing that people live like this willingly rather than like <sighs> you wanted to see some titties? I've got some beads. Show me your titties, I give you beads. Holy shit. I'm really kind of scared. People live like this willingly. Every step I take, I crunch for you. Because it's literally every step I crunch. I got your job. Oh, you want some? They, they look like they fit. There's cockroaches everywhere. 
I'm feeling them in my, in my legs. Ah, uh, it's my new friend. I'm gonna pet him. Oh no, he didn't like that. I, I want some. How much, how much would you have to get paid in order to eat that? How much? Yeah. Impossible? No. Oh, it's stuck! Oh my god, it ended the bubble! Uh, I just gotta smell amazing. Ooh. Okay, so this portion, this whole bottom portion is gonna come out. We have to make the wall look right here. So this is where the mold stops. So we have to go like to here, about two foot above. So it's gonna be a nice even cut all the way along there. The whole pantry is coming out because this is wow. Like wow, wow. Oh, I'm so scared to open this motherfucker. As I should be, as roaches are dropping from the fucking thing. Ugh. Oh, look at that. It's fucking lovely, right? This was ass backwards. It should have been cleaned out and then this been tackled. Instead, we have to move everything that's gonna get thrown away anyway and work around a bunch of shit and dirty dishes and stuff. like. It was bid backwards. Keep your fingers crossed. I just let them know all of the services that we offer. And the only one that they don't want us to do right now is the biohazard because there isn't a dead person. So <sighs> waiting on that stuff. And once we get approval, we'll clear all of this out. That'll probably be tomorrow. Clear it all out, deep clean it and build back everything. And we'll be good to go. So we're pretty much finishing off the partition here. We don't have to do a, we're not gonna do a zipper wall. We don't wanna contaminate anything with mold. We built this partition wall. Hopefully they approve the proposals that we're sending over and we don't have to worry about this. We can literally just gut everything out of here and then really be able to do a good, good job. Just kind of one of those things, just rolling with the flow. Rolling with the homie. Started off with the road closing. They closed down all railroads, so we had to take like the long way around everywhere. Nobody put out a notice or anything, so. It's just been one of those kind of days. Plus it's really dark and gross outside. It's okay, because I'm with my two favorite people in all of Spalding, so. And Juan too, Juan prefers to work with you. He hates me, right? You hate me, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hate my stinking guts. We don't work well together at all. It's worse than a hoarding. It's worse than Miami. Yeah. And we were on that job for 12 days. So I pretty much, I'm gonna clean up all the lines and things like that. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see how far the, the mold has gone up. Today is a um, more or less a prep day and a semi demo day just to see exactly how high we need to go up on a lot of things. There's a lot of garbage. We had to move a lot of a lot of furnishings and things like that. And as we're opening up the wall, we can I mean you can physically see. So now we're gonna have to go onto the other side. This whole wall is gonna end up coming out. And I'm 99% sure it is moved in over here just because of the mold growth down on the bottom. So I always do like a score line of a rough estimate of where we think it's going to be. 90% of the time it's higher than that, but it's a good start for us. Okay, yeah, we only have to go an additional, so another foot up from here.
So when you are open the wall, when you are cutting the drywall, you have to be sure the air scrubber is working because it's cleaning the air. So the spores of the mold is not gonna they are not gonna fly around the house. So because the mold growth is on the floor underneath this baseboard and growing up, I want to remove at least four foot of this insulation here because I don't want any type of mold particles or spores. When in doubt, take it out. There's no way of, like, there's no way we can properly clean the fiberglass insulation. Oh yeah. Just slap a four foot piece of drywall up rather than having to do a bunch of different cuts on it as well so kind of makes it easier for the build back or rebuild on something like this it makes it a little easier on the construction guys as well really, really tight. So it's not an apartment, it's a stairwell. But it's a main stairwell. That is what I'm afraid of. I need to get into the kitchen wall. I can't just encapsulate that. That has to be removed. already spray all the wood and all the place to be sure when we are moving the stuff and trash and wood we are not gonna um, the spores are not gonna be in the whole place so we have to be sure everything's like contained
is day two here in Tampa. This job is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Kitchen is almost done with the demo. I'm getting ready to move into the bathroom. We now have three floors worth of mold that we had just uncovered late yesterday. When you open up the walls, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So it is what it is, shit happens. Ooh. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it guys, on to the next.